I decided, okay, I'll go with them. Set my alarm for 4.30 the next morning. Woke up somehow. Uh, we caught a cab and walking through the streets, the old streets of Jerusalem along the cobblestone. And we get to this church of the Holy Sepulchre. Uh, there were a few people there already, but, but it was much quieter. And I made a beeline straight for the sacristy, the place where priests get, get vested for mass. And I walked in and said, hey, is there any chance that I could concelebrate at the mass at 6 a.m. in the tomb? And they said, well, there's a group uh, that have already booked it, these, a group of Americans, uh, so you just have to wait and see. And so I waited and I waited. And finally, at 5 to 6, uh, they show up. And I said, hey, what do you think? And, and they said, well, it turns out there's one person from our group that is sick, and so uh, there's room so you can join us. And before I knew what had happened, uh, I'm, I'm vested in processing in uh, to the tomb for mass. And so we walk into this room. There's an outer chamber and an inner chamber. And as you walk in, there's, there's an altar, maybe about the size or slightly smaller than our own altar. And then there's a standing space about three feet by six feet. And there's two priests and eight other lay people in this tiny space, shoulder to shoulder. And there I am, uh, kind of claustrophobic. We're celebrating Mass. At one point, I reached into my pocket to try and get my camera out, trying to make sure that the person next to me didn't get the wrong idea. And I managed to snap a photo. There we are uh, at the altar. And the priest says to me, do you want to read the Gospel? Sure. And it, you know, it's, I glanced at it, it was familiar, familiar gospel, John chapter 20, you know, uh, early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene, you know, and so I, so I go to read it early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, and the text in front of me read, Mary Magdalene came to this tomb. And it suddenly hit me. It all made sense. If you want to go to the place where Jesus was born, go to Bethlehem. If you want to see where Jesus calmed the storm, go to the Sea of Galilee. But where do you go to experience the resurrection? There's no artifact, really, of that. The closest thing we have is the Holy Sepulchre. And there are people there lined up for hours and hours waiting to get in for a few seconds inside. And the crazy thing is, is that there's nothing in there. That's the point. It's empty. And I said to myself, you know, life can be so challenging. There can be so many struggles. Uh, you know, I can have such a bad week. But I will never lose hope. Because Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. Hallelujah. <laughs>